Hi everybody, I'm Mia and today I will be doing the stay at home book tag. I saw this on Maya from the Spectacles channel and at the end of it she just tagged everyone. So, you know, I thought I would give it a try. But before we get into that, um, we have to obviously address what's going on in the world with um, Black Lives Matter. As you all probably know, there has been a major restarting in the Black Lives Matter movement, especially in America following the death of George Floyd, a black man killed by a white police officer. I myself haven't really been that much into the movement, but I will try and read more books by black authors, sign more petitions, go to the protests, although I'm aware that my parents aren't the biggest fan of me going to protests. And I will be trying to do everything I can to help and I encourage you all to do the same. So I'll be leaving the Black Lives Matter movement um, website in the description, which I recommend that you would look at it and sign the petitions, donate if you can, and just do anything to help the black community because black lives matter. So on to the actual tag. Question number one is a book that you could read all day long or you have read all day long. So for this question, I have Percy Jackson and The Last Olympian, which I did read in one day, I think. It was back when I did the stay at home reading rush over a weekend. I think I read this on Saturday and I loved it so much. It was so fun filled. If you don't know, this book is the fifth book in the Percy Jackson series. And it, the, the series follows a boy named Percy Jackson who has found out he's a demigod, the son of the Greek god of the sea, Poseidon. And he deals with that and he goes to Camp Halfway where he learns to hone his abilities and fight monsters and all that kind of stuff. Definitely a five star for me, would totally recommend the all of the books by Rick Riordan and I'm making my way through the sequel series Heroes of Olympus and I've read the first two so very excited to continue with that as well in the next few months. Question number two is a guilty pleasure book. I would define a guilty pleasure book as a book that you have read like a lot of the time or you read while you're in a reading slump. I do get reading slumps sometimes but I am too motivated to try and finish the book, even if I don't like it, to finish that book. I will most usually not try and read another book to get back into reading. I will continue with the book that I don't like, which may be a bad thing, I don't know. And as I've mentioned before, I do not really, as, as a generalization, I don't reread books. There are only probably maybe two or three books on my shelf that I have actually reread and I wouldn't really consider them guilty pleasures like they wouldn't be ones which I would reread over and over again if I'm stuck with reading but obviously I have been talking about Cassandra Clare non-stop on my channel and I would say a guilty pleasure for me is or if I was to have a guilty pleasure it would definitely be Lady Midnight and the rest of the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare, which focuses on a girl named Emma Carstairs and her best friend Julian Blackthorne, who, um, she, her parents died, well, yeah, her parents died in a strange way, and then more people around Los Angeles start to die in the same way as her, as Emma's parents did. So her and Julian are trying to figure out what's going on and it's just a good time. As you probably already know, this is my favourite of the Shadowhunter series made up of Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness, which this one is my favourite book of all time. Question three is a series that you want to start. So I have been wanting to start the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer for absolutely ages. Now I think about it, it probably hasn't been ages, but it just feels like ages because so many people have been talking about it and I still haven't read it. So the Lunar Chronicles are all about classic fairy tales, but retold in a science fiction-y world. 
There are four, I think, in the series, along with two companion novels, novella things, and they, as I said, they are being talked about non-stop on booktube, and I want to read them and talk about them with people as well. Question number four is a book that's been on your TBR for ages, and and that would be The Host. I think this was the first book which I mentioned in my TBR veterans video. It is number one on my um, Goodreads TBR. That doesn't mean it's the one that I want to read first, it just means the one it's the one that I added first and still haven't read yet. So The Host is by Stephanie Meyer who I don't think is any relation to Marissa Meyer, author of the Lunar Chronicles, but the host is about demon creatures that are invading human bodies, and the main character, Melanie Strider, is not giving in to this demon character, and then I believe she, Melanie, and the demon both fall in love with the same guy, person? Uh, what's his name? Jared. His name is Jared. This one just keeps putting... I keep being put off by it, I don't know. I'll hopefully get around to it at some point. Okay, question five is a book you bought for the hype. So I bought this book a little while ago and it is definitely fair to say I bought it for the hype. Well, more for the controversy and to see what I would think about it. And that is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, also author of the host that I just mentioned. So yes, as you all know, Twilight has been very positively and very negatively mentioned about on booktube and I wanted to see what I thought about it and the results were mainly positive. Yeah, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars and I'd, I'm definitely continuing with the series. Um, New Moon is on my June TBR, I haven't got to it yet but I'm hoping to before the month finishes as I need to read it to become the goddess Artemis. and. Yeah, I just really want to see where my thoughts lie on this series. Question six is a book that had a massive impact on you. And that is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Please correct me in the comments, I still don't know how to say her name correctly. This story is about August Pullman, who has a condition that his face doesn't look exactly as you would expect a ten year old's face to look. This book was very emotional and it made me realise so much, so many things. I've never read any books about it before and I loved how it was middle grade, super light hearted and didn't, it came off a lot less serious about a serious topic, if you know what I mean. It definitely had an impact on me and it was, it was very well written, I will say that. It's officially my new favourite contemporary book. Question number seven is a book that you were gifted. For this, I'm using the Hunger Games series, which was actually gifted to me by my sister, funnily enough. Um, we did, not technically given, but we did a trade for it, and she gave me this, and I gave her something that she wanted from my room. I think it was some sort of room decor thing. I don't know, but it was a great trade for me because I've been wanting to read the Hunger Games. As you probably saw by my May wrap-up, well, I hope you watch it. If you don't, I'll leave it in the description. Um, I read Catching Fire and The Hunger Games last month. Enjoyed Catching Fire better, unpopular opinion. It's my favourite out of the two. But I'm very excited to see what Mockingjay has in store for me. My friend Charlotte said she really enjoyed Mockingjay a lot more than the other two. So I'm excited to see where I, th what I think about it, where I fall on that line. And thank you to Kate if you're watching this. I don't I don't think she's watching this, but Kate, if you are, thank you. So question eight is what kind of self-care have you been doing recently? And as I've said before, New Zealand, we're no longer on lockdown. When we were in lockdown, I did a lot of yoga. It was fun. Not really doing it anymore, but thought I'd mention that. Oh, here's the doggy again. She loves to be in the videos. Okay, everyone, hi. This is my dog Isla. Anyway, so it's not really explicitly to do with quarantine, but from the start of March, I think it was, I started journaling my reading progress. So I write what's happened in the book and what pages I read each day, and then when I finish a book, I write a review about it. And it's it just relaxes me so much, and there are some special pages, so I'll show you them. 
So whenever I do a readathon, I print out like the the printouts that come with them if there are any. So when I did the Owl's Magic readathon, I had the Owl's letter, the prompts printed out, Ooh, oops. and then I wanted to be a Hogwarts professor, so I did all that. And then I finished the Owls, and then for June, I am being Artemis for the Make Your Myth Taker readathon. So I have that, the Sorcerer, this page of the prompts, and then that page so goddess and then I'm doing a bit of fairy and a bit of assassin path as well and these are the books I'm reading with a quote I love this quote so much this is from Percy Jackson's Titan's Curse brother Artemis chided you do not help my hunters you do not look at talk to or flirt with my hunters and you do not call them sweetheart I don't know for some reason I just really liked that quote and I'm being Artemis so I added in there at the back I I, I quite like um collaging. So I did a bit of a collage and I got some book magazines from around bookstores and things, primarily from Paper Plus and Whitcalls if you're living in New Zealand and you want to get some magazines. So, so on this page I have books which I have read from magazines, so Hulls, The Hobbit, Harry Potter, oh Harry Potter's there, Ready Player One, Dark Artifices, John Green stuff, Eleanor and Park, all that good stuff and then if we flip the page I have books that I want to read which include Chain of Gold, Trials of Apollo, The Aurora Cycle, Ark of the Scythe Trilogy and that and then since there were so many more I had another page which is the Sarah J Maas books which I want to read, Throne of Glass series, A Court of Thorns, what is it? A Court of Thorns and Roses series and um, The House of Earth and Blood. So that is my journaling, my self-care, it's fun, would recommend. And I also have another journal when I finish this one because I'm getting to the end, like a, a quarter left I think. So these two will look very nice on the ice shelf next to each other. And number nine is name a book coming out soon. Um, I'm really excited for Forest of Souls by Laurie M. I can't remember, but it's Laurie M something. and. It's part of this the first book in the Shaman Born trilogy series. I can't really remember what it's about, but I remember it looks so awesome and I definitely want to get it out when it comes out. I think it's June 23rd or around there, so I'm very excited for that. And then question 10 is who do you tag? I'm not one for really choosing people, so like Maya from Perspectacle, if you want to watch this video, if you want to do this tag, and you're watching this video, feel free, I'm tagging you. Yeah, if you want to. Well, thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you really want to. I would appreciate it a lot. Comment down below if you've read these books and if you've done this tag, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!